Mais Joël Fabrienne. Pourquoi tu vas changer on this? We, we imagine it's pretty nerve-wracking to go out on your own when you've been part of a group that's been so successful. Uh, how's the reception been? It's honestly been incredible. I think better than I could have actually imagined. Um, just the fact that people are loving the song and the reception's been so incredible. Yeah, I'm buzzing. It feels good. Uh, it must feel good. People have been so excited for this music. Um, can you talk to us about the story behind Don't Say Love? Yeah, so for me, Don't Say Love is all about wanting to be loved wholeheartedly and at 100%. Um, and I can apply it to my career, I think, um, for some of my years being in the group by just feeling like quite undervalued and invisible and I really wanted the song to sort of show that frustration um, and the pain that came with that. But why did you feel undervalued? I think being the black girl in the group um, and the experience that came with that and for me I felt like I really wanted to to sort of get that feeling out for my first single um, because now I can put that to bed I can I can lay it out and it doesn't define who I am and I'm ready to step into this empowered solo journey. Well, uh, the word love has, you know, huge connotations. Uh, have you ever used the love word when you haven't really meant it? Oh. Oh. I don't, you know what? I, when I say it, I mean it. Um, I'm a person that loves really hard. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't just come out, like, willy-nilly, like I mean it. Does your husband ever take it personally when you're singing about these types of things? Does he think, oh, what have I done wrong? Have I done something wrong? Well, um, yeah, wait for the album. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, I think he's just super proud of anything that I do. But, um, yeah. Leanne, you talk about, you know, this solo career that you're on right now and embarking on this journey to empowerment, I guess, in a way. What have you found mm -hmm. to be the best thing about being like, this is my, this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it? Oh, I think just like being able to walk into a room and write about whatever is on my heart. And yeah, like just stuff in my relationship, being a mum, like there's so many different elements that I'm just like ready to talk about and even just that, like, being just super personal. Is it nice that there are less people to argue with? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I swear, being in the group was one of, like, just the best time of my life. And, like, I miss my sisters so much. Um, but, yeah, and I would say, like, the pros, like, way, like, outweigh the, the cons, like, from being in a group. But I think, like, it's just nice to not have to compromise, maybe. But, Leanne, it's a big thing when the members of a successful group start doing solo albums. There can be jealousy. It gets very political. <laughs> Have the girls been supportive of this venture? Oh, my gosh, yes. I honestly, like, love them so much. Um, I still feel like they are holding my hand through this, you know? Like, they are the other side of the phone. Like, I can speak to them whenever I need to speak to them. And, yeah, they love the song and they've been, like, helping me push it. And that's just such an amazing, beautiful thing, uh, the fact that we are still so close after, like, all these years. Uh, we're here to celebrate your solo stuff. Well done on it, by the way. I'm thinking of going solo myself, by the way. Whoa. I've got a dead weight on the panel right here. Um, but I wonder... I, I do wonder... No, 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 we're very supportive of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please go off. <laughs> uh, I do wonder, how often do you get asked about Little Mix getting back together? Is that, is that, I'm not asking, but is that just a constant <laughs> question you're hearing? Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. Like, the fans want to know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think how can we not do a reunion, you know? Like, we, we have to. I think we've created such a legacy now. Um, so, yeah, I think when, when the time is right, 100%. But hang on, reunion is, sounds like something you do in 20 years. Mm. Is that what you mean? Oh, gosh, how old will I be in 20 years? I'll be 50. Um, but right. I still, we can still do it, I guess. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think sooner than that, for sure. Um, I don't want to say a time, I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure it'll be sooner than that. <laughs> well, we look forward to it. Leanne's debut single, Don't Say Love, is out now. And, of course, uh, her memoir is also coming out. It's called Believe. That's coming out on October mm. 26. There'll be lots more in there as well. Leanne, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, guys.